Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about who should take science A group and why. As all of you know and or you might have seen some of my previous videos, in India the primary combination of subjects available in science A group are physics, chemistry and mathematics. So who should take science A group? First thing which I say is the child needs to have a very strong academic orientation to be the right candidate for science A group. Whether the child has people orientation or not, it does not matter. Whether the child has creative orientation or not, it really does not matter. But academic orientation is must. Second thing is, the child has to be very good with the subjects of mathematics, physics and chemistry. And if you want to understand the basic benchmark, the child should have 95% plus level in mathematics at 10th grade level and 90% plus level in physics and chemistry both in order to be the right candidate to take up science A group. Third thing is the child has to have curiosity towards latest machines, gadgets, latest happenings in the technology world. Basically the child should show strong interest towards technology, machinery and so on. And last but not the least, the child should be very comfortable in spending long hours with books and or computers in study. Well, when I say spending long hours, it is not that a child who is uh, intelligent or relatively lesser intelligent, which in India is generally gauged based on the marks of 10th grade, uh, you know, that is not exactly what I'm trying to put across. What I'm trying to put across is that the volume which the child has to cover in grade 11 and 12 in the subjects of physics, chemistry and mathematics is so huge that if the child does not put in sufficient labor of six to seven hours every day for two years, the child will not be able to cover the syllabus itself. And next to that, obviously the child will have to go through some of the other competitive exams which may include JEE main which may include BITSAT, SRM, NPAT, Symbiosis all these different tests require the candidate uh, you know uh, to have a very strong uh, grip in their subjects of physics chemistry and mathematics some of the other things which a candidate who has passed out from science A group in grade 12 can do is one can definitely become an engineer as we all know beyond that one can become an art uh, architect one can become a mathematician statistician town planner one can get into the area like pure sciences which is mathematics physics chemistry astrophysics one can also get into area like bachelors of fashion technology bachelors of uh, you know agriculture engineering bachelor of uh, biotechnology food technology and so on and so forth so there are a lot of options which are available for all these candidates who pass from grade 12 in science a group i hope this video helps you in case you wish to ask any question please feel free to visit my website or put your question in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer. If you're still confused, you can connect with us for personal career counseling. You can connect with my office at 7600-888-111 or visit my website www.mohitmangal.com. You can connect with me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn or YouTube. My ID is IQUEMOHIT. Thank you.